Yeah, buddy. Back again and blessed again because I'm blessed again. I am. What you think I said? Back again. Back. Black again. again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back again and blessed again, and because I'm blessed again, I am what? what you think I said after that? I just told you. No. Black again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back again and blessed again because I'm blessed again. I'm back again. I just said. I said back first. No, you said. First, you said black. No, first I said back and then I said black. Oh, Rookie. Yeah. Because I am... Um, what you running for? Because you got on fedora hat and I ain't got my hair done. Oh, my God. You had your hair done yesterday. Yeah, but you had no fedora hat on yesterday. I'm going to the bank. You oh, know what okay. I'm saying? Look, folk get a little money, they get funny. And then your, ah. wife, then your wife get out the video. Folk get a little... Well, she ain't trying to get in the video, so y'all gonna have to deal. Man, sit up. They can see half your head. They know what you look like, girl. Woman. Folk get a little money, they have to start acting funny. No, nah, I'm going to the um the bank. We gotta open up another business account. And I ain't wanna go in there, you know, with my work clothes on, which I can, but I wanna present myself as professional at least the first time. So yeah, we headed to the um, bank, opened up a uh, local business account with a bank my wife has wanted to bank with for a while. I did set her account up um, last night, her personal account. Mm -hmm. She didn't know that she could do it online, which why she ain't been did it? Hey, I'm just waiting on the right time with the right money, and now it's coming. Well, the account is free. Well, I didn't know it was free until last night. You wouldn't know if you didn't look. I'm just waiting. But we got the contractors over there. They're working. Um, I already been over there, let them in. We really want to let them in, but unlocking the bottom of the house so they could get the materials and get the work. They showed up on time. They beat me there. They was a few minutes earlier. And I, well, I think I got there like 8.26 and they were supposed to show up at 8.30. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. Love it. It's okay to be a few minutes late, but you be sitting there, sitting there, and then the person don't let you know nothing. Like, man, come on, come on. But I'm liking what I'm seeing already in regards to punctuality. And then the workers want to be there because they want to get paid. <laughs> And so we will take a, uh, a swing around there later. Right now, specifically, we are heading to the library. We have to print some documents because we are out of um, out of ink at the house. Once we get that printed, which is just the updated articles of incorporation from the state of Arkansas that states that we are legit, we are in good standing. So when we go open this bank account up, we don't have no problems and issues. Ooh, that ain't shaking. Getting struts. You going in the shop as soon to check clear. Time to name every place. But um I think oh yeah, what else we gonna do? We got that. We gotta do that. We gotta hit the bank. We gotta go check on the the progress of their work. Then we're gonna um, we're gonna drive for dollars. Yes, sir. There's a few properties I want y'all to see that she wants me to see, but one of them specifically, it's a piece of land that we probably gonna be able to get a good deal for it. I pray that it's still available um, when the time comes, because you can put like four properties on this one piece of land, and we can possibly get it for like two thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. And you had some properties that you sent me some pictures of, mm -hmm. some old ones mm -hmm. that uh, we want to see. Like duplex. Yeah, duplex. Like the one, yeah. Then the ones you sent like what last year? Was that long ago? I don't know. It was one. the one on retro. Re Re Rector. Rector. Yeah. I said yeah. retro. <laughs> Rector. Yeah, I did send that one last year. Yeah, we want to check and see if those are available. And the reason we want to really see these because these are for sale by owner properties, for sale by owner. And the good thing about the for sale by owners is you can negotiate. You can negotiate, you can get the house under contract, pay your little money, and kind of like do the same thing we did with this, uh, this property. Only thing that we're gonna be facing if we're able to get one of these properties under contract. Let's say it's available and it's like, okay, uh, the ARV looking good, the repair numbers are looking good and everything we can we can 
make some uh, money off of it and provide affordable houses so we can do more affordable houses. Um, let's say we do get it. We do get one of these houses, right? Mm -hmm. Then we're in the position where we have to decide, do you want to do the house since it's already established? Or do we want to do what we are currently planning, which is a new construction build? I don't know. To me, the, there's ups and downs. You know, there's ups and downs to both sides. When you do the house, then you might run into issues like we did with Gibson. Like, oh, this needs fixing, and we didn't see it. You know, now you got to spend extra money. But you might get it done faster because it might not need that much work. Because, you know, we got to wait on the build on the land because of the, because of the dirt. Yeah. I think what I would do differently... I didn't do it the first time because of the circumstances how we got the house. Mm -hmm. um, we were going to get the house regardless. Right. Because it's such a. If, <laughs> uh, either we were going to get the house and sell it, fix it up and sell it, or we were going to get the house and keep it for that's ourselves. Right, either right. way, we were going to get the house. We were not letting the house go that's because right. it was such a excellent deal with the uh, with the land. Mm -hmm. But I, I say that to say this: what I will do differently is get an inspection. You mean beforehand, before we start doing anything? Even before purchase. Oh, okay. You know, you have a, a time period, grace period, where you can get an inspection and see what needs to be, what needs to be done on it. That's smart. I just, you know, I just, I just learned from people that have done it before me, and it makes sense. But we didn't do an inspection on um, the current property because we were going to buy it either way. We were going to buy it either way. We know the house was solid, is solid, and. We got it. And you can't pass up a deal like that. <laughs> yeah. But we're about to go in this library, get these documents printed, and then head to the bank. We got our documents printed out, and we got some exciting news. This is the value we bring to the channel. We're going to tell you things that people ain't going to tell you, especially as black. You know you like, though, you like. Uh huh. Still yeah. black gonna take away some of your black ones. No. <laughs> <laughs> they probably like, you ain't the darkest one either. Or well, most black people ain't the, the darkest ones. Um, is it turn lane? Yeah, middle lane. Oh, okay. Good Lord. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we, got? What we found out? Are you talking about the books? Yeah. Oh. So, I authored a book uh, last August. And a sister in Christ of mine's or, uh, authored a book. Well, she just published hers like a week ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm always at the library with my children and stuff. But today, since me and my husband are in there, I said, well, let me ask and see what is the process of getting our books in this library. And one of the ladies um, at the desk, she went and got the, I guess, the main guy. And he came out and he asked me a few questions and it was super easy. I thought the process was going to be hard, but I just asked, what's the process of getting our book, our books in circulation? And he said, oh, it's easy. I just take down your, the author's name and the name of the book. And they say, we order a couple of copies and then we put it in, in circulation. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't cost me anything. Just a few minutes of, of time. Boom. If you don't ask, you won't know. Yep. Simple, simple, simple. So, you know, I'm assuming that the the taxpayers, the city, pays for all that, obviously. Um, I don't know if it's like that in other states, because I've gonna, never... I'm going to find out, because I'm going to be calling different libraries. Now I know that it's that easy. <laughs> That's a good video for you. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Thank you, sir. I wonder if it's out there, like, if you research how to art the book, because I've watch videos about authoring books and uh, you know um, uh, doing books like to make money and stuff like that but people weren't talking about getting it in the library and it being free I don't never I don't know if people care about that I mean, they probably care when it comes to book signings you know because people come and you know they want they want to author a, what do you call it autographed copy of your book but as far as getting their books in libraries I don't know if a lot of authors care about that as long as the book is selling <laughs> That's, that's the thing, right? Yeah. So if you're an author, call your local library or go in person and see what the process is of getting your book in circulation. Even if you 
I mean, if, you, if it's your book, you should have a copy of it. Um, take the book down there. And then, hey, say, hey, I authored this book. I want to get this book in circulation. And the reason is because, obviously, you wrote the book and you want people to read it. But you never know whose hands that book is going to get into. The whole purpose of you writing a book, hopefully, is to get it in the hands of certain individuals. Um, the books that um, you and the Sister in Christ authored are children's books, correct? Mm -hmm. Both okay. of them are children's books. Yeah. So they obviously want the books to get in the hands of the children. Right. And the Sister in Christ, she doesn't stay here. Right. She's right? in St. Louis, I believe. Yeah. Right. So yeah, she doesn't even stay here. So her book will be in... Arkansas. Yes. That's so exciting. What my wife wants to do is take a picture of the book in the library and say, hey, your book is in the library now. <laughs> I told her that we were going to do as much as we can possible to you know, help her you know, promote the book and everything. When I get a little, little shekels, I'm going to put some money behind it in regards to advertising and stuff like that. But other than that, we are now headed to the bank. Hopefully everything goes well. You're gonna turn right here at this street. What, right here? Yes, sir. Okay. And get everything set up. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. And you can turn in right there. They still got snow and ice. <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes. Skrrr! Get up, G. Taco stand. Taco building. All right, we got the bank stuff taken care of. I don't really, overall, you know, I, I don't have too much against the people that work bank, at banks. She was pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. Um, Helpful. Yeah, but we know how, we know how banks get down. When you're doing business, you gotta do business. But there was no issues, no hiccups, nothing but good things to say so far about our best. I did what I did like is how they have their overdraft thing set up. Yes. Well you I have like to that. eight you have to eight to eight PM to get the money into the account unless it's the weekend. Right. So you know if the weekend you go negative then you pretty much like almost screwed, right? Well, you kinda have until Monday, right? Don't you have until Monday? But is it Monday, that Monday coming I mean it like you said it's like kinda, the morning or is it to the 8 p.m. that I don't know. I don't think it would be that night. I don't know. I just know that I just know that if I if either one of us did take it into negative, we better get to the bank ASAP on the weekend because they are open. On, but she said processing is not until Monday. They are open on Saturday. My other bank is not open on Saturday. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't like my account being negative, but it's been there before because I have multiple accounts. What happens is. I have money coming out from here, money coming out from there, and then I have to, uh, you know, I transfer it over. Is I have the money, I, I, get it, get it, go, go. I transfer it over, and then they still charge me for overdraft. Mm -hmm. And I do My it, too. yeah, I do it, I do it immediately. It's like, well, you still charge me. <laughs> and then you know, um, Bank of America, they charging thirty five dollars. Oh, so that can add up. Especially you got certain things coming out. Most of the time, a lot of stuff you got coming out, they come in, it's coming out around the same time. And you can do the math. That, that was my thing. So I I love that about them. Hopefully they live up to it. Right. But even if it did come out, I'd rather pay the 17 than 35. Right. That's almost double. Right. Um, just being able to go into the account and boom, oh, transfer it over. Like you said, her husband checks their account every day, and I check mine every day. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, you know, I had a a dollar purchase come out. And she said she don't check it. <laughs> Thought about me when she said that. I was like, oh. Yeah, a dollar purchase comes out, and you you're negative a dollar, and then they charge you thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars, right? For real? No, that happened. Didn't that happen to you? Where it was like negative sixty cent or yeah. something like that? <laughs> like, good lord! I could have just you know took it from another account and made it not negative anymore. And then I transferred the money over. I put the money in there. They need to do that at banks. They need to say, you know, if you have another account 
Am I authorized to just take it out of this other account? They do have that. But how they, come my, my bank didn't do that? Well, you got to sign up for overdraft protection with it. But it, it was it was sixty cent. Right. And you had another account. That's well, why didn't they do that? Why didn't they just take it? Because I don't have mine set up like that. That's why. Because I you keep my, I keep money in there. It just happened that I had a transaction come out there, put the account in the negative, Most and I and I put yeah I put the money in there. Cause you the that account is used specifically for your online. Yeah, that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head over to we hit the land. Land or Lopez? Barnett. You don't, you don't need to bother them yet. I mean, we can hit them when we uh, pull up. Barnett. When you said Barnett or the land, where's the land at? Barnett. Ain't it the oh, street? Oh, I thought you were talking about some different properties. Um, yeah, you could hit Barnett. I'm saying Barnett. Well, I know, but there's, you know, you said or the land. I'm like, where's the land? Yeah, Barnett's fine. You can buy all this. Uh, this is, this is the area. As you see, ain't nothing back here. Nothing but opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, it's right here. And here is the sign, so it's still for sale, as far as we know. And it's the same company. Yeah. I just noticed that. Lance Arguello. Arguello. It's the same company that um my phone that my real estate agent is under. How big you said it was? Well, hold on. You got this over here. It says uh, private property. And you got this down here, but there's nothing, no houses. Let me to this other side. You got some um, houses and stuff back down here. And when you go down there, there's some houses, but this little area, this land is big enough to put like four houses, if I'm not mistaken. How um how many acres or I think, I think it's almost one acre something like that. Almost one acre? Mm -hmm. Look, there's a fence. There's no fence. This is all, if it's almost one acre, yeah, we can Look, see, it's in the middle. You know, you know that's old. Oh, that part, that fence looks like it's a hundred years old. We can shake some, nah. This would be a project later on the line because you gotta pay to get this cleared out. Um, you gotta get it surveyed. It's so so much work, but for the price of it, you kind of like almost got to get it. And then did you show them both sides? Like there's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing over here. You have your own little cul-de-sac. We already got electrical, obviously. Tap into the um, plumbing and everything. Like I said, this is a project that's later down the line because it has more, you have to invest more money into it. But they wanted what? Six. Six for it. But they said that you were ready to get rid of it. So make her an offer. She'll probably take anything. That's what the dude, Lance, said. That's what the guy said. Right, that's what he said. He, he said she'll probably take anything because he why? Been sitting on it, been sitting on it for so long. And she was, um, and what? She's elderly. elderly she's and she's getting she, rid of all of her property. Yeah, and she, I think this is her last one. She got rid of it. She's elderly. She's getting rid of her properties. And. Yeah. Her family doesn't really want it. I mean, I wonder who owns all the rest of this. This is ain't nothing over here. And it's, you know what's amazing? It's not dirty. No. Like, in regards to like, people coming over here and dumping stuff, there's more trash in certain areas than it is <laughs> over here. Good, yeah. That's a little, that's a, that's some dumping. Is that a couch or something? Yeah, but okay. not terrible. But look at that. Ain't nothing back here. Except, I think this is where you go down, you go down that curve. Mm -hmm, Cause down there to the left is those new apartments. You yeah. You gotta pay attention to stuff like that. Why would they put a new, a brand new apartment building back here? Let they know something that we don't know. Yeah, and they know all this back here is empty too. Exactly. All this over here, all this over there. You turn left down that street, nothing down there. Nothing down, look, nothing down here. <laughs> nothing back there like we in the middle of, ah, exactly nothing, nothing so you got an apartment building back there you come here and put some houses then you have other people coming in you are already in the game because you already established like i said it's ducked off 
this is the one that we're gonna um, buy out of all the land that we are gonna be looking at. We're gonna be getting land from the uh, the tax, yeah, tax auctions and stuff like that. Call and check on them anyway. She says she's good, she's straight, or she sleep. Nah, nah, what? She ain't sleep. You know, them children are too loud for her to sleep. What's down Bir Birmingham? What's down Birmingham, y'all? To the left or the right? Let's go right. Let's go right. That's gonna take the prey back around so that don't go back to the left. That's the curve that leads to the apartment. So that going this street. Birmingham nah. don't go that way. You sure? Okay. I mean, I guess you'll find out when you get up there. Oh, there's one house. Okay, so it does go back this way. Oh man, damn! Okay, so it, it, it turns, it curves right there. Ain't nothing over here. Can you see this? Like all of these acres and nothing. The one house was back there. Exactly. One. And some apartment buildings. And boom, you come around a curve. And you got some houses right here. No, one house right here. But I'm talking about this area. It's a. There's one house. You go old house. It's work. It's one house right here, y'all. And hey. in this apartment, brand new apartments. Can they see it? Turn the camera. Could have just turned it and came on out. Yeah. Next street, how many houses on this street? Fixburg. I'm turning here and showing you how many houses on this street. None. House <laughs> on the hill? No, ain't nothing on here. You know what I'm saying? You put a house put on the hill. Some of this land back here is for sale. Got to be. I mean, it's, y'all, it's nothing back here. This is so much potential. I like more so the flat land. Me too. I don't like all this hilly stuff. Like, Barrett was flat. And uh, Monk, uh, Birmingham Street. Well, they had a hill at the top, but we got to be at the top of the hill, not the bottom. Birmingham has some flat, some flat area right there. Yeah. And what's that? And then we have the projects. Projects. That takes us back. Um, to Barrett. Yeah. The church right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the, all the this whole street, there's a church, and that's it. Nothing else. and then the property is over the hill. Mm -hmm. Perfect for me. Really? <laughs> day two, day two. Let's see the progress. White haven't, you haven't seen it. I've seen it. All the junk. Hey. Uh, sir. Yeah. We in your way. Sorry? I said we in your way. Oh, yeah. You in your name? Yeah, um, my boss right, right back, right now. Oh, um, yeah, because it's... Were you you were, you weren't here yesterday, were you? Sorry. You yesterday. Yesterday. Mm, yesterday. Now. No, he no. wasn't. It was other. Uh, other. other guy. In the other, in the van. Where they went? It's my first day here. Oh okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, just, they, uh, they had, yeah yeah yeah. Same. Yeah, yeah. They had lunch. Yeah. They had lunch. Yeah. 
just want to go around the other thing. What? I mean, go ahead, say what you got to say. Nothing really to talk about. We probably go around the other side. Get in his way. What you think? What you think? Progress. Looks, looks good. Looks like they're doing something. When you get around there, you see that other button that's not the red button? Mm -hmm. Uh, That one takes pictures. So snap some, uh, oh, you got a smart phone. I wonder if my phone does that. It's just the other guy just pulled up. But this is stuff y'all seen yesterday, all the junk and everything. Um, new columns and everything. They reinforce all that. You see that? And they still... And you can tell, look, you can tell it's, you can tell it's more level now. You see it? Mm-hmm. The door is probably not going to touch anymore. Because yeah. before when we opened the screen door, it was touching the ceiling. The roof. Yeah. So, that's good. So, all I got to do is do this other column here to match that one. It's going to look good. Yeah. And they put that there to support it up until they can get it where they need to get it. We got the new thingy right there. And then the good thing is that the uh, it's the it's the width of the um, of the thing. You know, before it was just in the middle, mm -hmm. but it's the width of the uh, right. slab. Right, I love that. So you got a, you got a lot of a room full, to uh, right. A full staircase instead of a little skinny staircase. Two people can you know. fit. Yeah, I like the I like the progress and everything. And if you want to, you can slap some paint on there, but aren't they? Didn't they say they're doing that? Wasn't that the no, part of the country? No, they want to paint this uh, up there, the match and everything, but not not that. Oh, okay. Ask them where they go. Hmm? Ask them where they go get some food from. What? Just to make conversation with them. Food. That's cool. Okay. You gonna take me? You gonna take me? <laughs> don't be, don't be doing it. Come on, show me the plug you was talking about. Oh. That food smell good. Oh, okay. I see. I, I didn't. You know what? This is not what I saw. When you, when you told me about the plug, I didn't see that. I saw. They broke this. We gonna fix it. Cause that was not. How they broke? Oh, with the wood. Uh, yeah. Um, we attach it to. Yeah. That one, no. That was the one you. That was the one that was originally there. Yeah, yeah. It looks much better on this. It's more organized. Then you get some of that. Mmm. No. So what are you, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are the food that they eat smells really good. You already know what that is. That's, that's down the street. I guarantee it. That's, but you didn't ask them. It's fresh onions. It's, it smells fresh. Oh that's God. down the street. It smells so good. Cilantro. Okay, anyway, what do I think? I think it's coming along great. It's definitely going to look better than so much that better. garbage that was up there. Right. So much better. Oh, no, I didn't take any pictures. You told me it's not pictures. And it's gonna look better than what they wanted. They wanted um just rails, right? Yeah, they just wanted rails. This is one of the things that Hot Springs is famous for. The Walter. That massive building on literally on the hill. But uh, I was up in there the first time I came in and visited. So I drug my husband down here because he ain't never come here before to fill up the water with. I have, I have. 
When? Not this one, the one over there when you first showed Oh, the it cold one, my bad. He went to the cold one. Yeah, but how you supposed to get the water? Look, right here. Oh. You can talk and tell them what's going on. So this is um the hot springs mineral water. It's very famous because this water is one of the hottest ones in hot springs. And people come from all over the world to fill up jugs here just so they can taste the water and take it back home. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> okay. And this water, from what I'm told, comes from way down deep in the earth, which is why it's so hot. Over 10,000 feet? Carbon dated as well. Okay, and it's carbon dated. And they say it might be 4,000 years old. That's how long it takes the water to get to where we are right now, 4,000 years. So you heard that too? So it's, so it's yes. flood, flood water. It's yeah. flood water. I went to the, um, uh, okay. the history of the building, of our building here, mm -hmm. which is the Army Navy Hospital, mm -hmm. the first in this country. And they talked about the water, the history, and it's been here. Army Corps of Engineers did to help it, you know, flow up and build the fountains. And it's been free and will always be free. So I learned that five years ago and then the whole having vector before they closed this down. So this is beautiful. It's 21,000 square feet. Oh, it's awesome. Campus. And now who owns it? A government. That's what I heard. The government, the government took it over. It. And they're not sure what is going to be done with it yet. They shut down the meetings prior to the pandemic. I was going down to the library and the Chamber of Commerce to find out if and anything they were going to do with it. And it's at a stall wall right now. The Fed says they don't want it back unless you clean it up. State of Arkansas say they don't have the money to clean it up. So it's on the books. The Army is the original first Army Navy hospital in this country. And it is magnificent. I've been up in the house. It's awesome. You have the visuals around downtown. It is fabulous. It's marvelous. Headquarters. It's beautiful. And they have still traveling. I've been all up in that building. I know it. Great, great. It is fabulous. But it's very unique. And the inside is even more unique. So we hate to see it go. But we don't know what to do. You got a bottle of container there or what? <laughs> <laughs> See, like it. So now what do you do with that? You take it home and drink it? But, you know, put it in a big grater or whatever. And, we, leave, we leave it You don't drink hot. it hot. Yeah, we drink it hot. Well, it cools off. You know, yeah, it gets warm, back. Warm, right. Right, right. So okay. what, what do you think should be done? What do you think should be done with the building? Museum. We've been trying to get that, but no one wants to put the bill. Um, we're not so sure the government feels it's important anymore. Mm. So they're allowing it to yeah. sit. It is gated with, posted with signs saying no trespassing, you, you know, violated and it's federal property. It is federal property. Uh, I live in the area. <laughs> so I know my husband and I, when we first moved here in 1991, we honeymooned here and also the Arlington Hotel. Nice. So anyway, we have a lot of history of being in the area. Um, so I don't want to say that the government doesn't want it. I don't know that. It's just that it's on the books, like everything else in America. So what what else do you know about this water? Because oh, you know, I some soak in it. We soak in it. I soak in it. Twenty-three times a week, I come and get. I live up town up there, so I come and get. Plastic bottles, 20, 20 to 25. Early in the morning, like 6.30 or 7, I get my water and take water. it back and I soak in it. I drank it, I cook with it. Um, we've been to the Buckstaff bathhouse to do the massages to sit back. You, I'm sure you've done all that. Have you not been to the Buckstaff Just, bathhouse? just passing in front of it. <laughs> oh, okay. But not going inside of it. Arkansas? I'm from Texas. He's from. Billy. Billy. But oh, but you mama. Know her, I thought maybe you lived here. Oh, we, we do. We, we do. do my mom is from here. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, anyway. <laughs> and I've been to the Buckstaff Bathhouse. I've been to the Buckstaff Bathhouse. I've been to
and we've done the Arlington bathhouse. And so it's just more therapeutic, more healthy. I refused to move back to Florida because of the border. And I told my mother that. She said, why do you stay? I said, because of the border. If anything happens, and I told her that in 2003. If anything happens in the country, we got water here. Everywhere else, look at Michigan, look at Delaware, look at New Jersey. Because it's protected under the right, federal right, government right, of right, right, national right. park. Na right, this is a national park. Welcome. Nice. Where are you guys so from? It is very, very from New Jersey, actually. New Jersey, okay. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. I'm, from I'm from Texas, but we live here now. Oh, nice. mm -hmm. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't live anywhere else. Yes. Where do we go to dinner today? To what kind of food and do you like? Good food. Not bad food. Pretty nice. Uh, this are you trying to dine downtown? Yeah, we've been all over. Nina, there's Mount Isle. At the end of this street here, there's Fat Jacks on the right hand side. Fat Fat Jacks. Yeah, they have all kind of food like chicken, sausage, gumbo. Um, and then there's a pancake house, uh, Roland, Rolando's, on the other side over here. Yeah. So I, I mean, if you like breakfast, you do that. If you don't, if you want dinner, um, Fat Jacks. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome. At a cleaning service. I had that for like 15 years. Then we ended up selling it here. Uh, starting a nonprofit and providing affordable housing in the, in the community and stuff. Good. I'm already on subsidized housing because I'm over 65. And my son's 48. He's a farmer in Jacksonville, Florida. But I wouldn't live any, uh, any place else because the country is gone pretty much. I don't want to get into politics now. But, uh, it is gone. It's gone. gone. It's gone. And the immigrants are replacing the blacks. And so we have an influx of people here who are not going to go back home, whether they're from Columbia. It is a lot of my construction work. Right. So you know, right, 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 right. So they're not going home regardless of what Spike has said about let them stay here until they can apply for asylum and all of those things. They're not going home. They're going to be right here. They're going to have their children on our dime and who's going to put the, I don't want to get into that, uh, in the future, you know, who's going to put that tab. So I only had one, don't want any more, don't want to adopt. Um, I like life, like going old, and I love hot springs. And I take pictures all around fountains and from here to ha you know, Happy Hollow. Have you been Happy Hollow? Mm -hmm. That's the cold, the cold water over there. Whenever I walk downtown, I'm going down to the library. I just snap and take pictures from maybe from Japan, Portugal, with my husband and I did our honeymoon up at Libby's. Do you know Libby's Memorial? No, ma'am. Okay. Whoa. Well, anyway, it's uh used to be open, it's now closed. But people were coming for us from Europe, Spain, Canada, Switzerland. We met them all at the bathhouse. Way before the pandemic now, I'm talking back in the 90s. Was when Libby's it, a bathhouse? Libby's was a bathhouse. Okay. Yes, a lot of history, a lot. We got lots, got lots of photos on other tablets when we were actually soaking in those pools up there. Was owned by the feds, but it was privately operated. Someone bought a lease anyway. Dewey and his wife, who were like, they bought it. So anyway, in the 90s, when things were different in this country, when money was flowing and people were traveling freely, it was wonderful. Now, after the pandemic, it's very different and very restrictive, and I'm sure we will never go back. Thank yeah. you for listening. Be safe. <laughs> I'm going to catch the bus and go on over to uh, the library. Life is good. Yes, ma'am. And hey, man, thank you. Enjoy the conversation. Okay. Yes, thank you for the information. Keep your eye on the news about the old Army Navy Hospital. If they the ever rehab? Had, it's, well, they call it the rehab. But it is originally the uh, old Army Navy Hospital. And if they reopen it or whatever they might do in the future, it's maybe in the news, if you get a chance, go up there. Because it is awesome. It is one of a kind in this world. And the, the historian told me it would take a lot of TNT to um, take that down. He said it was just, it wouldn't be. Because it's a really solid, right. solid construction. And we got a basement there, so that's one of the big reasons I stay along. I live up here. So if anything happens, <laughs> that, you know, I kind of, we kind of have a place to go. Jerry Jones is coming in and put his money behind it. So. Well, no, they've, uh, we've had some big weeks here, and they said it was too much. Um, property. 
one wealthy flew in on a private jet. Uh, we weren't privy to who it was, but he and his team after they surveyed, it was just too much property. And it is. Too many bills is too much. It's an entire campus. I went to Henderson State University. I mean, you could probably put the Henderson up there and still have room left. You haven't even gone in the back. I've gone down in the back. It goes down into the forest. You know what? Being that size, maybe it would make a good um, military base or something, or a post or something like that. Being well, that we, big. We hope, we hope they don't put immigrants there. See, that's, <laughs> we may look up and we have immigrants. It has a, it has a uh, dormitory on the other side. It's a dorm girl on the other side of this big building. That you can't, you can't see it from here, no, but. You can't see me. When you, you can't even go in there now, but. Back in the day, we took walking tours. This is separate dormitory. They can make multiple things. They can have a museum, right. um, an indoor, something for kids. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's so massive. And an amphitheater on some of that property. Right. That yeah. would be that would be a movie, cool. A movie, One, two, uh, three, four, uh, five, six, something for like seven floors. Plays that... and right. Well, yeah, seven, seven floors. Hey, we don't have the funds and money, so all we can do is. But that's true, and all I can do is ten meetings. Because I don't have to be privy to what they were saying because they were all, of course, white babies. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against that because my husband's white, so I'm not, I know where the money is. I know where the resources are. So I'm not going to be against that. Uh, I have a privilege to live here, so as opposed to anywhere else in the country, so I'm going to enjoy it. So if you ever, you know, hear that they want to open or do, see if you can get a tour a walking tour up there, and you were in the nonprofit business. Uh, that might be, I don't know. It's a monster. Thanks. Right, thank, thank you. you. Okay, bye. Let's go. You see the um, steam coming up so hot. It's not, it's not even cold today. Like, probably almost 70 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. ah. Let's see if I still got it. Go. I'll, there was something I wanted to do real quick. Where y'all put this at? Don't matter. Don't matter. As long as it don't go rolling around back there. Been bathing in and stuff, right? Where you going? I wanted you to touch the water on camera. I ain't doing all that. Come on, no, all right? Well, do it for me. No, you're not gonna do it for me. No.